It's that time again. It's Dress Up Thursday, and today's theme is bakery theme. So, what do we got going on here? Is there anything bakery on there? I see milk. It could possibly go with cookies. Honestly, I don't know where the kids' clothes are. Oh, my God. I'm such a horrible reborn mom. I had this stuff all folded at uh, one time. Oh, look, look, look. What do we have here? Oh, cookies and milk. Got something else. Cupcakes. Now, while I get my babies ready for Dress Up Thursday, you guys are going to enjoy this awesome box of kits and all the kits' wonderful details. And then when we're done with that, you're going to see the kids in their cute little outfits. So we have a box of kits right here. We opened this up in last night's live. If you want to watch last night's live, you can go ahead and click the pinned comment down in the comment area and it will take you there. Gail sent us a bunch of really cute kits. So I thought we would open them and look at them at a little closer details because on live you can't always see stuff so close. All right, let's see what babies we have in here. We have this one, this one, this one, and this one. Let's see who is in this box. Oh my gosh, there are some cute ones. First, we have Sebastian by Olga. This doll is super cute. Next, we have this one by Lisa Marks. Its name is Carly, maybe? I don't know, though, Zarly. It looks like there's a J, possibly that's a Z. I don't know what that is going on there. But she's a limit of 600. Now, I will not show you the edition number I have, and I'll tell you why. It has been brought to my attention by a few people that purchase kits with me that they have been contacted by the vendor, the store selling these kits, asking if they're sending the kits to me. And they were threatened that if they were sending the kits to me that they would no longer be able to shop with them. And that they told these people that they have a list with all of the limited edition kits and they know what number goes to who. So to protect those who buy kits for me, I cover up the uh, edition number and the edition number is seen by the person who purchased the kit, the baby, once the baby's actually in their house. I keep this 100% secret until the baby's home. Isn't it a shame that I have to operate that way because of some people's ways and how they handle business, you know? We go back to the Amazon kits and stuff like that and how I was bullied. Well, this is how I have to act. This is how I have to do things in order so I can still get my kits and not be shut down by these people. So the next kit, which I had a hard time figuring out what its name was, but it's Jewel. <laughs> there we go. Cute one, again, covered this because all of uh, these vendors have made some threats and my... Uh, Friends, they don't want any shopping worries because they want to still get me my kits. So again, edition number is uh, covered and this is of edition 555. This little baby is a sweetie. So cute. They're all sweeties. Um, this is a Gudrun Legler kit. Again, I have the edition number covered up due to the threats. I mean, these people didn't not just email uh, those who buy for me or th so they think. So... You know, I protect people even when they're sent to me as a gift. This was a gift, but I protected the gifter because, hey, I don't want to take away this person's fun just because they sent me a gift. But in reality, I mean, you shouldn't be blocking people over, you know, their opinions or what they found with research. We're all adults, but you just lose money when you do this to people and you block them. And then when I have to tell people how you're harassing people who buy from me, well, then you actually just deter even more business for yourself. Let's check out the first kit I got. I haven't done this in a long time. Uh, we're going to just go over its details. I think we've got baby Victor here with us. So Victor appears to be a newborn size kit. Super cute. Look at that face. His mouth is open. Look at those ears. Oh my goodness. And look at the nose. You can even see his tongue. Part of his upper gum you can see. Very, very nice. Look at those ears. Super cute sleeping face. So when you buy this kit, he comes with his body. So this is the body that you get. 
So he might be, you know, he might fit smaller three month stuff, but I don't know, we'll see. Look at that, look at his hand. So nice. Look at the little details there. All the little details in the palm. Here's the next hand. This baby has two open hands. Look at those fingernails. Oh, I love fingernails. Especially nails like this because it gives you tons of area to do your details. So nice. Here's his foot. It's got a separated toe right there. So if you have little thong sandals, it could wear it. Oh, both toes are separated. That's really cool. Not all the time are both toes separated. So if you have little thong sandals, they could wear those. That is adorable. Let's look at the bottom of the feet. Ah, some nice feet for that kid. Baby number two, who do we have here? This baby has a white cloth body, and I'll tell you what, personally, I prefer the white cloth bodies. They are better quality than um, the brown bodies, in my opinion. It's just a better quality of fabric. I also prefer string, in my opinion, hands down. String is the best for your baby. Um, zip ties break with time. Zip ties just don't give they don't allow the limbs to move so smoothly. String ugh, allows the limbs to really sm move smoothly. So it's got a gathered butt. And we're gonna get started here. I'm not gonna show you the face first, but oh my gosh, look at that hand. This hand is so nice. I'm actually shocked. This is Elisa Marks' uh, work, which I like Elisa Marks' work a lot, but I can tell she is making like a change in her sculpting, and I think it's really nice. Love it. Look at those beautiful nails. Look at that. Just so pretty. So it's got full arms. Here's the other arm. It's got a closed hand on this one. Again, beautiful nails. I like a lot of nail bed to work with. I mean, your nails should always be beautiful. The one area that many sculptors lack on is the toenails. But at least the mark tends to give you a pretty good toenail. So look at that. You got a nice little area for the nail bed. But some, many sculpts I see they don't really have much of a toenail except for on the big nail I don't know the toenails are just I don't get a lot of space there so I've actually just don't really pay attention to them anymore I've just given up I'm like they always give me such a tiny space to work with but Elisa Marks gives you a really nice space to work with so this baby will get the whites at the bottom of the toenails because I have enough space so what I'm saying is most toenails are not big enough to do the full detail in there because it's just such a small area. I love the legs on this kit. Look at that straight leg, like leg, got a little bow in there. So adorable. Again, both toes are separated. So if you have little thong sandals, but I can't wait to see this baby and I'm sure you want to see its face. And here's the face. Oh my goodness. Such a sweet sleeping baby. Again, I see this one being newborn size. The mouth is slightly open, but not open. It's kind of like, it really gives you an illusion like it's open, but it's not. So you couldn't even put a cut nipple in there. But really cute. Look at those ears. Tiny little ears. Sweet baby. It's got some nice chubby cheeks. Next one we got here is Jewel by Carol Wigerich. So here's his hand. And he has a decent nail bed too for his little fingers. Look at that, you can see his little, all his little creases in there. This baby's an awake baby. And he's got his other arm is in a fist. You can see he's got nice nail beds. Got a little shoulder there. I really like the toenails. They're super defined. Like you can see where they start and finish. And, that, and that's what I should be more clear about. I have a problem with a lot of the kids knowing where they finish. They don't do a finishing to the toenail. They just like do this side of it and they never like put that line to show, oh, it's an actual toenail. So a lot of the time I create my own toenail on the toe because I don't know where the toenail ends, if that makes any sense. And here's its face. I'm not sure what kind of expression it has. It's kind of got like a might be a little concerned I'm not sure maybe just waking up or it's gonna get ready to cry but what a little cutie I cannot wait to pop some eyes in there look at those ears very nice ears now this kit I almost bought I almost bought it I have a kit coming but I didn't buy this one this kit is they're all cute kits but this kit is my favorite so this one is Sebastian absolutely adorable he has two open hands, so here's one of his arms. 
He's full limbs as well. Look at his nails, beds. They're so nice. Oh, I love it. And here's his other hand. It's just an open hand again, but the fingers are just in different positions. And then here is the foot. The toes are not separated, so you wouldn't be able to do the fun sandals with him. I find a lot of the time the newborn sandals don't even fit their feet. They're usually too big for my babies. And here's the other foot. This one has okay nail beds. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell where it ends, but you can still slightly see it. Got a little bit of space to work with there. And then there's the bottom of the foot. All these dolls are full in babies, uh, just in case you didn't know. But here we go. Look at his little ears. Ah, so cute. That little expression. Oh my goodness. Absolutely adorable. You can see the roof of the mouth in there. And he's got his little tongue. So cute. So that one is Sebastian. So here are all four of the kids, Jackie and I. Well, Jackie pretty much put them all together for me. I put their onesies on them. Oh my, what a group of cuties. Let's look at all their little baby feet. Oh my gosh. It's so cute to look at them just laying there. Look at that baby feet. Let's get a view of their legs so you guys can see how they are together once they're on a body, how they take position. Time for the faces. Oh, you guys are so cute. They all can't wait to be born, especially this one. He's super happy about it. So if you have any troubles deciding on kits to buy, I recommend these ones. <laughs> they are super cute. And if you're like, okay, I don't know how to decide. I can only get one. Well, I think if I was going to have to pick just one. Right now, I'm really liking Victor and Sebastian. Victor might be taking the lead. I don't know. So you, you can't go wrong with Victor. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of them. But if you can only pick one, I'd probably do Victor and then Sebastian. But if you like awake babies, Sebastian. Great doll. Now it doesn't get any cuter than that. Them all laying in the crib. Look at them. They're all ready for bed. Oh my gosh. They're so advanced and they're not even painted yet. Oh, they're just too precious. I don't really ever do this with the kids, but this is so fun. I think I'm going to start doing this more often. So which one is your favorite? Comment down below. Let us know who is your favorite baby and who are you going to run off and buy for the next one to paint? So here's baby Ocean. He's in the mama roo. We put on some vintage shoes with his cookies and milk onesie. I just think he looks so adorable. I think this is his first time in the mama roo. I think. I just don't feel like I've seen him in it before. But are you guys ready for next week's theme? Here is the theme. And I got this idea from, I believe her name is Cindy Crisp on Facebook. She had a pacifier theme. Ha ha, that's what we're doing. So share your pacifiers. Share all of them. Share one of them. Just put pacifiers with your baby for next week's Dress Up Thursday. That's pretty easy. And if you don't have a pacifier, you're always still welcome to participate, you know. We just want you guys to have fun. So take this theme how you want to do it. And I can't wait to see your guys' videos and photo posts. Here is little Miss Holly. She didn't have anything that I wanted to put on her. I mean, I had the cupcake thing, but I really wanted to do this milk onesie. You guys do not know how long I've been holding on to this outfit set, but for a while now. And I've been waiting for this day, and so she's teamed up with our plush cookies. Aren't they so adorable? Which are actually dog toys. Picked these up at Marshall's one day, and I was like, I'm gonna use them in my team. Are your dogs barking yet? <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, this one is looking so adorable in her bakery outfit. <gasps> it's that basic art baby we have available on the website. Isn't she so adorable? She will also be coming home with this super cute milk and cookies outfit. 
She wanted to participate with us and show off her little cookie friend. Hi, she is so adorable. Now this baby here was sent to Jackie as a gift. This is Jackie's baby. And one day she's gonna paint her with silicone paints. But this is also baby Osaka. Named after Osaka-chan, who follows us here on YouTube. Osaka recently lost her father, and I wanted to dress this baby because she just absolutely loves baby Osaka. I thought maybe this could bring a smile to her face. I know it's not much, especially during this um, really sad time her family's going to be going through. But I'm hoping that seeing baby Osaka will make Osaka smile just one smile today. If you guys could send love and thoughts and positive uh, vibes, frequencies, prayers, whatever you believe in to Osaka, I'm sure her and her family would greatly appreciate it. Osaka, thank you so much for coming to our channel and being just a wonderful source of light. Many of you don't know, but when she joins my video, she's getting up at 3, 4 a.m. in the morning just to be here. She sets a, an alarm and she just has such a wonderful positive spirit. Osaka, keep your head up. I know it's going to be very hard, but we are all here for you. Um, just reach out to us. You know, you'd never, if you ever feel alone, please don't. Please, you know, reach out to us and let us know that you need a friend. Anybody in the community. Guys, you know, just comment down below if you are available for Osaka to reach out to. Thank you so much in advance. Thank you so much for participating in Dress Up Thursday today. I hope you're excited for next week's theme. Again, if I miss your videos, please don't take it personally. Just shoot me down a link in the comment area so I can find you. I do my best to find them all, but I found out last week I had missed a couple from weeks before. It just, if you search for them different ways, you find different stuff. Even I'm using the hashtag Dress Up Thursday, but they're coming up other ways. So again, thank you so much. Remember to stay safe, stay positive, and don't give in to those negative energies. Please don't ever behave like them. Rise above them. Don't let go of your positivity. Because when you act like them, you've just become one of them. All right, guys. We'll be back soon. Love you so much. Bye.